bless you all. This is uh, Pastor Robert Rodriguez, a.k.a. MC Soldier. And uh, my son was uh, flown into uh, the hospital yesterday. He's in critical condition. And, uh, you know, we've been doing this documentary on MC Soldier Ministries. And uh, so today my, my, my son is in critical condition. And these are some of the pastors that uh, came to see uh, my son. So um, we're going to interview one of the pastors right now, Pastor Andrew. Pastor Andrew, you come here, bro. But I told you about that documentary we're doing, you know what I mean? So, so um, if you could tell the, um, you know, the, the world, you know, how long you know me and, and uh, Little Soldier and that, you know, uh, what you want to share with them, you know what I mean? The struggles, you know, we're talking about, this is a reality of a show of the real life struggles of inner city ministries that, that reach gangs and, and barrios, you know? So, you know, go ahead and tell the world what you think, you know? I know my brother, what, what, had him keep it on him? At least a good, what, 10 years? Yeah. 10 years now? Yeah. Praise God. Or, or long, yeah, about 10 years. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Or longer, maybe a little longer than that. Yeah. Praise God, but you know, we, we, we have our ups and downs in the ministry, but you know, that, are the struggles that God's word says that we will have those struggles, and, you know, and the, the men of God will will struggle. We will struggle, but it's a matter of always reaching out and touching those lost souls on the streets, any, wherever by we may go, Hallelujah, Amen. and reach those lost souls, reach the people, uh, people for Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, the gang members, the the drunkards, the 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 the, the, the addicts, uh, the, the 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 homeless. The ones that are downtrodden, we're, we're, we're to reach out and touch them for the love of Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ, show them, show them the love of Jesus Christ, and that's what God uh, proclaims for us, His children, to do. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah. And my, my brother in there, I believe that my spirit has told me that He's going to have an awesome, awesome, speedy recovery. Hallelujah, and 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 that, that He's going to have an awesome testimony to help lead others. To Jesus Christ Himself. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, this is Pastor uh, Andrew from uh, Open Doors Ministries, right? Yes, sir. In uh, Tolleson, Arizona. And I've known him for over 10 years, and I praise the Lord for him. He's family. He's always there for me when I'm down and out. And um, that's what this uh, video is all about to encourage other pastors out there raising their children and in the, in the hardest cities, reaching the hardest souls. So uh, praise God, little soldiers gonna be all right. Uh, the devil lost uh, uh, his his victory. He has no victory. He has no sting, like the Bible says. Oh, death, where is your sting? And little soldiers gonna be perfect. So praise the Lord, and God bless you. Uh, Pastor Pancho. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so, what we're doing is uh, we're doing a, a documentary on MC Soldier Ministries, and uh, um, just uh, you know, we're talking about um, churches that are in the barrios, reaching gang members, and the struggles that that, that real pastors go through that, that that people don't see on the the inside of doors, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is one of my my close homeboys uh, from from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, Veterano. And he's a pastor now, and recently his brother passed away, and he, he, he built a church in Phoenix and went up to Albuquerque, got ordained. So now he's back, you know what I mean? And, and so he's one of my close friends. So uh, what would you like to tell the, the world out there, you know? Well, you know what? I got five kids, and uh, I think the older one's like 33, 34, and the younger one's like probably 27, came out of prison about like three weeks, a month ago. And uh, you know what, it is hard. Because you know what, we need to pray. And, you know, we need to stand up with God's word all the time. I mean, it, the Bible says, make it an everyday thing. You gotta make this an hour thing, every half, 20 minutes, whatever. Because see, the devil can't knock us down, but you know what, our kids can knock us down. The devil can't even touch us or anything. But you know what, our kids, the thing that they face, the thing that they go through, what makes us up saying the thing that, you know, a lot of times we're gonna give up on God. We can turn our back on it real easy because of our kids. But you know what, if we're strong 
you know, like my kids, I got five kids. They, they don't go to church. I'm trying, I came back from Albuquerque to build a church here because I wanted, I did drugs and all that when I was younger and I never was a part of my kids' life. But you know what, God gave me a second chance. My church is gonna be called Second Chance because we all deserve a second chance through God. Then for God's mercy, putting Jesus on that cross, you know, nobody will have a second chance. But you know what, God, we made it happen and now we need to do our part. But the young kids these days, there's something up, you know. I said because I got five kids alone. I got nephews that came out of prison. And uh, you know what, we just need to stay strong. Sometimes we gotta talk to them. A lot of times our own kids will listen to us, but they might listen to somebody else. But you know what, that is okay. If that'll bring them to God, that's, you know, we can, hey, we can live with that. But you know what, we've been through it, we know what it's like, but you know what, God changed us. I call my God of this, uh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, how do you call it? When he fix things. Uh, what do you call it? A restorer? No, he restore. Because he restored us. You know, there ain't nobody God can't restore. My little brother that got killed over Kirk. He was from the Mexican Mafia and in prison, and, you know. And God restored his life. God gave me back my wife, my kids. And you know what? Now it's my thing that I gotta just put my kids in God's hands. That's what it is. Because I cannot do it on my own. But you know what, the Bible says, for man is impossible, for God there's nothing impossible. So we just gotta believe in God, have faith in God, you know, and give him everything, give him all your problems, that's what it's for. Why should we carry our burden? Let God carry our burden for us. You know, there ain't no burden too, too small, too big for God to handle. So we just gotta keep faith, you know, believe, you know, read our Bible, you know, constantly, constantly, stay in it, you know, spend time with him, you know. Being time with him means all, be intimate with him. And the stronger he you know, that bond gets stronger and stronger. Where, you know, like like me, I get upset with my kids, you know, they do something wrong, it gets me upset. But what I do, I go in my, in my room, I start getting on my knees, I don't care what anybody says. I, if I had to throw tears for my kids, I'd throw tears. You know, back then I was tough, but you know what, now when I go to God, I'm a cry baby. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to throw tears to my God, because I know what my God can do. We serve a good, mighty God that, you know, that cares about us. And he, will do, he will do anything for us if we believe and we ask Him. But we need to ask Him in faith, you know, and just, but God is good. You know, that's a lot, you know, like you were saying, there's a lot of pastors out there, you know, that don't, don't come from the streets and where they've been, you know, I don't mean being mean or nothing, but been handed everything in their hand. We had to get everything, but we trust God and God gives it to us. We just didn't be obedient, you know, believe in Him, have faith in Him. And uh, you know what, you'd be surprised what God can do when you put your hand in his life. And let, him, you know, let the Holy Spirit just, with the, outer, you know, the inner, with the spirit and the flesh, it becomes one. And that's what, it's good. But you know what, hey man, just keep faith, keep heart, you know, keep praying. Because you know what, I just lost my little brother, you know. I didn't go to church for a month and a half. And when I was in my room, I was, uh, I was going to, uh, uh, I was falling into a uh, depression. Not only that, but the devil was in the room with me all the time. I kept trying to, you know, calm, calm me by telling me go get a gun and go do your stuff. Aren't you from the streets? And know he almost did it. But then I remember what come of God I served. When God came to me in the end and told me, you know what? Nobody's going to touch you. Nobody's going to take you from me. And I just start trusting God again. Hey, but you know what? Give God your kids. Because you know what? It's hard for us to do it ourselves. So we just depend on God for everything. They trust Him, believe in Him. And uh, He restore the kids. He'll bring them to you. But sometimes, you know, we, sometimes the youngsters these days, they, you know, they're going to learn the hard way. And sometimes the hard way hurts a little bit. You know, my kid had to go to prison to, you know, now he talks about God a little bit. Man. But to me, that's good because, you know, he had an opportunity to be one-on-one -on -one with God. But you know what, we thank God, you know, he blesses us, the devil just, God wants 10% of our lives, and he gives eternal life. The devil don't want nothing, we give him everything. And you know, not only that, we also want our white person to take what they have and give it to the devil. And don't give it anything. 
God wants ten percent, He gives eternal life. And you know what? That's not hard to get ten percent. Not for eternal life because you know what? There's a hell and there's a heaven. God's here right there. You just make that choice. And God don't care what you are or what you're doing. He'll accept you any way that you are, and He'll while you're working with Him, He'll restore you. He'll give you back everything the devil takes. The Bible says he'll give you 77 times more than what you have. Man. But just put your faith in God, you know. And pastors say, stay strong, you know, be together, you know, help you, you know, work with you, pray for each other, you know. Because sometimes you need it. Don't try to do nothing by yourself because it'll get too hard. But when you got other good pastors, good friends and all that, hey, call them, man, don't be shy, call them up and they will pray for you. You know, sometimes you even kick back and talk. Sometimes that it hurts, it works. But you know, some of them try to do it by themselves, and they get harder, life will get harder. And they start struggling, and it'll affect your ministry. But you know what? God will just get on your knees, hey man, cry, throw some tears, throw some joy tears to God. Tell him you need help, and he'll help you. But you know what? I'm glad I love God with all my heart. You know what? I'll never turn my back on God. But I put, I give my God my kids because you know what? I can't do it by myself. But there is nothing God can't do. There is nothing too big God can't fix. And we know we just need to trust God. You know, I don't care who it is. I don't care how strong you are, or how bad, whatever. You know what? Something happened in your life, or something happened to one of your kids. You can fall like that because it happened to me. I thought I was, I thought it was nothing could knock me down. But you know what? I was wrong. And I will never say that again. But you know what? Just keep depending on God and trust Him. You fix anything. Amen. That's a message from Pastor Poncho. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.